When using Donabella hair extensions, the consultation process is quite simple. You'll first need to determine what kind of a look your client is hoping to achieve. There are a few different approaches you can use. First, length. Second, volume or thickness. And third, highlights or color. It's also common to mix and match these three approaches. In fact, when adding length, you'll also need to add volume to make the extensions look natural. Before you start to apply extensions to your client's hair, it's important to find the right color. To help with this matching process, take your Donabella color ring and hold it up against your client's hair. With such a wide range of tones to choose from, finding the right color should not be difficult. Remember, if your client's hair does not match exactly, you're able to dye and bleach the Donabella human hair. Now it's time to section your client's hair. To help with this process, you'll use the rat tail comb and large clips provided in your Donabella kit. First divide your client's hair into two equal halves. Using the rat tail comb, create a straight and defined part line. This part line should run horizontally from one ear to the other, passing just below the occipital bone. Using the large clips, clip all other hair on top of the head. Make sure the clipped hair is secure and also that the horizontal part is as straight as possible. So your client can wear her hair up or in a ponytail, do not apply extensions to the nap area or lower back of the head. To help conceal the extensions attachment, do not apply extensions in or around the temples area. Also, do not apply extensions in or around your client's natural part line, and you do not want to apply extensions in or around the bangs area. To help simplify and speed up the application process, Donabella has created a protector strip that can be cut into different lengths. Take a protector strip and place it over the top of the horizontal part line you just created. Measure the desired length and then cut the strip accordingly. Now that you've cut the protector strip to the desired length, use the small clips provided in your kit to fasten the protector strip to your client's head. It may take four small clips to secure the strip to prevent it from moving while working. The small holes on the strip should rest just beneath the horizontal part line. This is the needle hook tool. Simply slide the needle hook into the end of the handle and twist to tighten. Although the needle hook tool makes it very easy to consistently grab and pull apart the right amount of hair through the protector, it is possible to grab too much of your client's hair. If you cause an unnatural hair direction by grabbing too much of your client's hair, simply place the needle hook tool underneath the protector strip and pull the hair back through the hole. It's also possible to grab too little of your client's hair. If this occurs, simply pull more hair through the hole or start again by first removing the hair from the hole. Place the needle hook tool through the first hole on the protector strip. Using the hook, grab a small section of your client's hair and pull it through the hole. Repeat this process for all other holes in the protector. If your client is wishing to only add volume to her natural hair, it is not necessary to use every hole on the protector strip. Instead, you can select to skip holes and only pull your client's hair through every other hole. Again, this depends on the volume your client wants to add to her own hair. If you're only adding highlights, you may just use every third or fourth hole on the strip. Once you've completed pulling your client's hair through the protector strip, be sure to check your work. Pulling too much hair through the hole can cause an unnatural look when the extension is applied. Pulling too small amount of hair can create added stress and breakage to your client's hair. To apply the Donabella U-Link extension, take a small section of your client's hair and lay it in the U-shaped bond. With one hand, hold your client's hair and bond in position. With your other hand, 
use the melting connector to melt the bond to your client's hair. After just a few seconds, using your thumb and forefinger, roll the bond into a cylindrical shape. The extension should be securely attached to your client's hair. Let's watch this U-Link application process a few more times. If you find a U-Link bond that does not have a complete seal, simply remelt and remold the bond using your thumb and finger. To take the protector strip off, simply undo the small clips and pull. The bonds will slide right through the holes on the strip. After you've completed the application process, evaluate your work. Make sure each bond has a complete seal. Also, be sure each extension is falling in a natural downward direction. Here's what a row of U-Link extensions should look like. Because hair is sometimes thinner on the sides, you may not be able to pull the usual amount of your client's hair through the protector. To avoid adding stress to this small section of your client's hair, it is sometimes recommended to cut a bond in half. Also, to better conceal the bonds on the side of the head, it is recommended to have the bond by cutting the top off. Do not apply extensions too close to the face. It's important to keep your client's hair looking natural without exposing the extensions. To take the protector strip off, simply undo the small clips and pull. The bonds will slide right through the holes on the strip. With a specially designed extension brush provided in your kit, brush through your client's hair. Explain to your client that an extension brush will not damage her extensions. To remove the U-Link bond, simply dab some dissolvent or liquid remover onto the bond. Let it absorb for a few seconds. Then using the bond remover tool, crush the bond and then pull to remove. Using one of the narrow tooth combs provided in the kit, comb out any excess bond from the hair. To prevent damage to your client's hair, add more dissolvent if necessary. After six to eight weeks of growth, your client may wish to have her extensions tightened or reapplied. To protect your client's head from heat, you can reapply a Donabella protector strip prior to removing and rebonding the hair. Using the method we just showed you, completely remove the extension from your client's hair. Next, you'll cut the old bond material from the extension, leaving a clean and even group of hairs ready to be rebonded. So the hairs do not fall apart, Either carefully lay them down or ask your client to hold them while you prepare your rebond. Being careful not to get burned, take one rebond and place it in the groove of the melting connector. Now take the newly cut extension you just removed and place the tips of the hair on the top of the rebond in your connector. By lightly closing the connector, you will bond the groups of loose hairs in the new rebond, forming a new U-shaped extension. As before, lay your client's hair on top of the U-shaped bond. Using the melting connector, bond the extension to your client's hair.